Hi, boys and girls. We're gonna go back to our Go Math pages this week. We had some fun last week, didn't we, for our hundreds. We were doing 100 day math and counting to 100 by tens and counting to 100 by ones and drawing emojis on Seesaw. So we kind of took a break from our regular Go Math, but we're gonna get right back into it this week. We've got quite a few pages to do in this packet. So remember, we were on chapter five. I'm gonna get my whole packet out of there. And that is addition. And, oh, the first page I see is this black and white one. I'm gonna tear that out. You do not need to do those. Those are meant to be for homework and we've got enough work to do at home, right? All right, so I'm gonna take out the next four pages. Two pages, right? If you count them like this, it's two pages, but if you count one, two, three, four. All right, and I'm gonna lay them down like this. Actually, I'll hold them up. Is my pencil? Oh boy, <laughs> my pencil is hiding from me. All right, well, on the front, they're just telling you an addition story. So you can tell a story. You've got two big fish um, swimming in a lake, probably, and one more fish comes. So all together, there's one, two, three. So down here, all you have to do is trace the numbers. Two big fish plus one more, kind of a smaller fish, equals three. Okay, now the, the title of this is Write Addition Sentences. So on the first page, you don't have to write it, you just have to trace it. Okay, on the next page, you can tell little stories about these, uh, about all the pictures. I need to put my glasses on. Okay, up here, there are two helicopters, okay, and they circle that too. I'm gonna, I better read the directions. Trace the circle around the set you start with. How many are being added to the set? How many all together? All right, how many are being added? Circle the set you start with. Okay, that's why they circled it. Okay, they want you to circle the first set because that's the number you're starting with. There are two helicopters. There are three more coming. These are on the ground. You can see them on the grass. These are flying in the sky, okay? How many will there be? When these land, how many helicopters will there be all together? One, two, three, four, five. Now, for the rest of it, you guys are gonna be writing this number, okay? You start with this number, but you're gonna be writing the middle number. It just makes it a little bit trickier. Equals five. Okay, so we're starting with one. What are these? Are these little canoes? Yeah, little canoes right here. We're starting with one. There's one robo uh, rowboat or canoe. Looks like it's on the ground. And then how many are on in the water? One, two, three, and then all together. When we add them all together, there's gonna to be one, two, three, four. Okay, same thing here. Oh, I don't know what those are. They like they look like blimps. I think that's what they're supposed to be. One, two, three, blimps on the ground. Okay, and then we're gonna add one, two right here. And then all together, there's gonna to be one, two, three, four, five. This is gonna be really actually pretty easy, isn't it? Okay, so what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna um, go over this one. There. Now we've got the rowboats. There's one, and then you count the missing number. Okay. They're giving you the answer. They're giving you what you start with. You have to put in the missing number. How many do? You, if we have one, how many do we have to add to get to the answer five? We have to add one, two, three, four more. Okay. Here's the little airplanes. There are three airplanes on the ground. All together, there's four. Okay, so we have to add this one. This one's gonna land on the ground. Okay, and then more rowboats. We've got two rowboats and then one, two, three more. All right, so missing numbers. All right, I will do the back page with you. It says, Bill catches two fish. Jake catches some fish, okay? They catch four fish in all. All right, this page is gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna do it with you guys, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna draw to show the fish. Okay, I'm gonna read it again. Bill catches two fish. So above the two, I'm gonna draw two fish. They're super easy to draw. You remember when we had to do the, um, draw the little fish in the fish bowls when we were doing the, the numbers? Yeah. Okay, so I tell you what, I'm gonna circle that because I don't want this one to get mixed up with this. Now, here's the thing. They're not telling us how many we're adding, but they're giving us the answer all together, so Bill catches two fish. We trace the two. Jake catches some fish. They catch four fish all together. 
So look guys, we have to put the four here. Okay, do not put the four here. We're not adding four fish. All together, they're catching four fish. This is the total. So this is a missing number thing, right? This is, a, it makes it hard. You have to find out what you're adding. We have two. All together, we're gonna have four. How many more do we need to add? Okay, we're not gonna add four more. That would be six. What if we had two fish? What if Bill caught two fish and Jake caught one? Would that be four? One, two, three. Mm -mm. What if we said that um, Jake caught uh, three? Then it would be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's try two. One, two, three, four. So without drawing them, you can just kind of count them. We have two. Now, if we want to get the answer four, how many more do we need? One, two, three, four. So I'm going to draw two more. Okay, I'll draw two more fish. Bill catches two fish. Jake catches two fish. All together, that is four. Okay, are those numbers going to work? Bill catches two fish. Jake catches two fish. All together, one, two, three, four. So the missing number. Let's let's try this one. Oh, tell a different addition word problem about fish. You get to make up your own. So I'm going to say five. I have five fish. All together, I have ten fish. So if I caught five fish, and I'm going to say my husband, Roy, we were both, I'm going to say we we're both fishing out on the lake. I caught five fish. All together, at the end of the day, we got 10. How many did he? If you have five fish, and at the end of the day, there's 10, how many do you think he caught? You'd have to add five more, right? So five plus five equals 10. You get to make up your own. That's fun. And then draw a picture for it. Okay, I will draw not my picture later, and I'll make sure I take a photograph of this and put it on the assignment page so you can see it. Okay, that should not be too hard. The first three pages are easy, and then this one, you get to make up your own. All right, bye-bye.